I served in the United States Army for 12 years, ultimately ending up as an E-7 or Sergeant First Class. Uh, while I was in the Army, I served the United States Special Forces with 10 Special Forces Group out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. It varied from going out and actively combating terrorism on a nightly basis, all the way down to humanitarian aid missions. My favorite one that we did was in a, in a very small town in north of Dikrit, Iraq. We went into a very small village that didn't have a single paved road. Uh, we found an, an empty one-story building and established a security perimeter. We opened a clinic for the day. We just kind of opened the doors and invited all the locals to, to come and uh, were able to treat hundreds of patients over the course of the day. And, you know, just in, in a lot of education with nutrition and vitamins and then all the way up to the, the most interesting case I had. She, she's telling me that she has the urge to eat dirt. I was like, yeah, I know exactly what that is. It's called pica. You know, it's, she, she's probably pregnant, so we were able to, to get her a lot of the support uh, she needed, um, as well as the education. I am so far from a hero. I was just fortunate to have developed a certain set of experiences. It's a matter of sort of demonstrating to my children that, you know, this is how you make the world a better place in, in every way you can. It's through, you know, acts of kindness and giving and support and service, putting their own kind of needs, wants, and desires aside, you know, for the for the benefit of someone else. Um, so I, I very much appreciate, you know, being identified as the hometown hero. Like I said, I'm just another, just another citizen that is able to occasionally lend a hand when needed.